Hi guys, this is Mark. This is Michelle. And we are back with our episode tonight of This is Mark and Michelle. <clears throat> tonight we're going to talk about why autism can be healed. Yes. And I'm going to give some very basic science stuff. <clears throat> and uh, then we'll go into, uh, uh, what's the word? We'll go into uh, one subject tonight in more detail. <clears throat> I'm going to cover just a, four points right now. Hey, Marlo, how are you? And uh, just so everybody knows, if you have questions, we'll take them at the end, okay? But uh, I'm going to go over four points of uh, how the body can heal or be healed. Um, but let me start with this, mm -hmm. and this is really true. Your body works really hard to heal itself, no matter what fuel it gets. As Michelle likes to say, and I think medical medium says this too, your body wants to heal. Yes. It does. And so <clears throat> if you provide it uh, crappy building blocks, then it isn't going to heal very well. If you provide it with really good, hey, Shirley Street, uh, if you provide it with really good building blocks in the form of food, uh, you can have crappy food or good food. Food with a lot of chemicals in it, that would be the crappy food. Uh, it's a kitty. Yeah, just wanted to make sure he wasn't knocking over our street scene. Uh, <clears throat> or really good food and getting good building blocks, then your body will heal itself very well. All right, let's start with this. <clears throat> Did you know, and it probably makes some common sense to you, but the body has its own self repair mechanisms. And uh, if you give your body the proper building blocks, it will it will heal well. <clears throat> all right. We all have heavy metals. We've all been exposed to heavy metals. Uh, let's give an example of heavy metals. Mercury, aluminum, uh, lead. Uh, some of us may have been even exposed to gold and silver. Uh, those can uh, cause a lot of trouble in your brain and in your neural networks in your brain. And for that matter, even in the rest of your organs. And uh, you probably find the biggest concentration of those are in your liver. Now, we'll, we'll talk about liver in a minute because that's another uh, uh, point here as well. But heavy metals, you can get heavy metals out of your body, either by pharmaceuticals uh, and or naturally. Now, I imagine most doctors have probably never heard of the natural route, but that's okay. Uh, we have, and we've been doing it, and it's wonderful. All right, <clears throat> heavy metals are a major culprit in your health. They, they, they keep your brain from working properly and your body from working properly. All right, <clears throat> now, gastrointestinal damage, GI damage. Uh, this is very important. And <clears throat> the medical medium, he links any organ damage to a backed up stagnant liver. Now, we'll talk about that in a minute, but uh, GI damage is something that for me, I healed up uh, on the GAPS diet, and I know other uh, 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 parents who have healed their kids uh, got using uh, the GAPS diet as well. And the medical medium diet works as well as I understand it. I didn't start with the medical medium diet. I finished up with the medical medium diet. <clears throat> but gastrointestinal damage is a major culprit in your health as well. Um, it's interesting because uh, 20 years ago, I worked for Barnes & Noble, and uh, a woman that I worked with, she had Crohn's disease. She was sick all the time. She was in, uh, in the hospital, out of the hospital, and I imagine had she known about GAP, she probably would have jumped right on the bandwagon because she was always in pain, and as much as she was a really sweet person, but she was always in pain. You know, and it's interesting. As much pain as she was in, she was never mean or nasty. So, and she was in a lot of pain, doubled over a lot of times. She probably didn't have metals in the places that make you grumpy. Well, there you go. And and <laughs> and I had me, uh, metals in the places that made me grumpy <laughs> because this last round of, of the heavy metal detox smoothie that Medical Medium talks about has really rid me of the metals in the places that made me grumpy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but gastrointestinal damage, uh, most of your immune system, a huge part of your immune system is located in your GI tract for a good reason. 
uh, if those of, those of you who haven't heard me talk about it, uh, with your a, a big part of your immune system in your gut, it helps kill bacteria and viruses in the food that you're digesting. That's that's an important thing. Uh, your first line of defense, however, is uh, the hydrochloric acid in your stomach against bacteria and viruses and other microbes. <clears throat> so your your GI tract needs to be healthy as well, and that can be healed naturally by food, uh, as evidenced in my case with the GAPS diet and other kids who were autistic and their mothers or their guard parents uh, have put them on the GAPS diet and healed their guts too, and saw increasing brain improvement and cognitive uh, improvement as well. I just want to add <clears throat> that some people have asked us why we've abandoned the GAPS. Oh, okay. Um, we abandoned the gaps because Mark kept having regressions and plateaued and was going backwards. And the medical medium just presented it itself. And once we started that, we were like, oh my goodness, this is way better. Yeah, it, it, it's funny because we jumped into the gaps cold turkey and just did it. Medical medium diet came along. We jumped into that and just did it because we knew for us, this is the next step. But when it happened on the gaps, there was so much fat it had backed his liver up and that's why I think he started having regressions. Yeah, good point. And uh, 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 so having a backed up liver, we might as well talk about yeah. that next. <clears throat> that's a good point to start talking about the backed up liver. <laughs> All right. Uh, a stagnant liver. Now, here's what I mean by that. Here's what medical meaning means by that. Your liver is one of the biggest detoxing organs in your body. Your skin is the other big one. Your skin, believe it or not, is an organ. But... <clears throat> Your liver really works hard day after day, week after week, year after year to take poisons and uh, like pesticides, herbicides, um, take back well microbes like bacteria and viruses out of your system. It even processes dead red blood cells. And so <clears throat> because it does all that, if something interferes with it, then it slows down and in some cases hey melissa, hey melissa hi from australia man it must be what uh monday evening there by now and uh but if your liver uh gets so backed up with all that stuff uh old drugs that it hasn't processed out uh then it slows down and in some cases stops working and uh there is a disease called uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And what that means is your liver has been so backed up by fat, uh, dietary fat that you've eaten, that uh, it has slowed down to a crawl processing all that stuff out. And when that happens, you start to gain weight. And uh, medical medium says that that weight <clears throat> is a storage facility for poisons that the liver hasn't been able to process out. Yeah. And so <clears throat> you gain weight. And um, so if you are gaining weight on gaps, then more than likely your liver has slowed down to a crawl. And it's funny because I did gaps, I did the intro on the gaps, for those of you who don't know. That goes for keto too as well. Keto too, keto well keto is very similar to gaps. and. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, but the, the introduction that part of the gaps, the introductory phase, is meat, animal fats, or plant fats, meat broth, garlic, fermented dairy, and probiotics. And I did that for 18 months straight for every meal I had. And did I cheat a little bit? A tiny bit. But I suffered, and so did everyone around me. And uh, But... After doing that for about 18 months, from the middle of 2013 to late 2014, by early, by the middle of 2015, I was gaining more weight, and I have pictures of it. And I looked inflamed. I was all red-faced and splotchy and that kind of stuff, much like I did when I was still autistic. And so <clears throat> the stagnant liver is a real thing, and it can happen. So if you find that on gaps you've plateaued and uh, you're seeing a few regressions in your kids or yourself, then uh, you need to detoxify your liver. Now, uh, that can be done by reducing your fat intake to almost nothing or nothing, which is tough. 
I get it. It's really hard, but yeah. I've done it. But she's done it, and and I've reduced it to much less than what I – probably a tenth of what I used to eat. And so it can be done, but reduce your fat intake and get – as much glucose as possible in the form of fruit because that will help repair your liver and everything else. He does have a liver a liver cleanse, which we have not done because it it's intense. Challenging. It's apples and spinach and huge salads and what lemon water. <laughs> and that's really about it. So you're uh, you're really big nine days. Yeah. I think for, it was nine days. Uh, and that's for like every meal, I think, isn't it? It looks pretty challenging. Yeah, it's it's. So I've chosen the slow route, and I don't have very much fat. Well, we're hardcore, but we're but not, not that, that hardcore. hardcore. <laughs> right? So maybe at some point. I mean, if you had cancer or something, you might would. Mm -hmm. Right, <clears throat> and you probably want to do that. You want to do that. But uh, let's go on to. I'm going to explain now the. Uh, the self-repair mechanisms that the body has so that you guys understand that your body is actually built to repair itself. Uh, and it really is. Let me uh, move on to this next slide. Here we go. And all right. <clears throat> Self-repairing body. All right. I'm just going to go through these points and, uh, uh, explain them uh not in i don't need to give you heavy detail and you don't need the science behind it so i'm not gonna worry about it but self re hey taj, hey, taj. <laughs> uh self-repairing body number one the body breaks down food for energy that's called catabolism right that means catabolism means that your body is taking food and bring, breaking it down for the building blocks that it needs to make proteins fats carbohydrates, uh, uh, that type of stuff. And your body normally does that when it's working properly. <clears throat> now, the next step is after breaking down the food, <clears throat> another process, your body then takes these smaller molecules <clears throat> and makes new cells. And it makes just what, what I just told you, proteins, fat, and energy. The carbohydrates, turn into are either starches or sugars. The starches get turned into sugars and the sugars, all of them get turned into energy. <clears throat> now, that process is called anabolism. Now, there's not a test, so a <laughs> quiz or nothing. I'm not even going to, you'll never even hear these words from me again, more than likely. <clears throat> but your body breaks down the food first and then takes the smaller molecules and makes what it needs to repair itself with. All right. That's what you need to know. Now, here is another mechanism that your body uses. Stem cells, all right? They replace old, worn out cells. Stem cells are basically uh, blank cells, like a blank disc. Then they get programmed for the job that they do and they get sent off and posted to their outpost somewhere, wherever that is, as a bone cell, as a brain cell, uh, blood cell, whatever. <laughs> That's one way that the body gets new cells. <clears throat> now, one of my favorite classes, even though I had trouble assimilating the information because I was autistic, was molecular and cellular biology. Because that talked about how, how a single cell works all on the inside and how it repairs itself. So, <clears throat> cells take all of the molecules that the body has broken down and the cell, an individual cell can take those small molecules and heal itself in many different places. Now, I'm not going to pull out a diagram of a cell and show you the bilipid brain, membrane, the Golgi body oh, and all stop. that stuff. So, <clears throat> right. And so I'm not going to bury you up. alive. I know. I'm not going to bury you alive with all that science, but you just did not much, but, uh, uh, uh it's a shallow grave. But uh, anyway, uh, your, uh, your cells, all your cells can do that. And when they're working properly, they do that efficiently. And, well, I don't know, I don't know what quick would be, but uh, probably within a few hours, 24, 48 hours, they can repair themselves. <clears throat> and that is normal for your body and for those cells to heal themselves, to repair themselves. All right. Here's another uh 
healing mechanism of your body just in case the last three weren't enough. Blood platelets. Think about this. When you cut yourself and blood comes out, right, the, the puncture or the wound heals itself because a bunch of blood platelets rush to that area and they start sticking together and finally cover up the hole so no more blood will come out. And uh, then that wound itself, the blood platelets keep the blood from coming out. But then after that, the skin, if, if your skin is cut, well, I guess what else would be cut on your body except your skin? Uh, if your, your skin... Your emotional body, your mental body. And well, we can talk about all that. They probably, <laughs> they probably have their own granular tissue and platelets. Probably. But, uh, uh, but uh, the wound itself closes up because another mechanism called granular tissue starts filling in the space between each side of the wound. So that's another way it heals. Here's something that most people don't know either, probably unless you're a scientist or a science major. <clears throat> Obviously, we all know that DNA is in our cells. All right? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> kitty hair. Uh, <clears throat> DNA is in your cells. And when DNA is copying itself, if an error is made in the DNA, then the copier, to make this simple, it's called DNA polymerase. There's three types. <clears throat> One of the DNA copiers comes back and fixes the error in the copy. And because it, can, it makes hardly any errors at all, if I remember what my genetics teacher told me, it only makes one error in every one billion copies. We don't have copiers that make that don't make errors that they make far more errors than that. But one error in a billion times. That's amazing. Now, some of you say, okay, well, God meant that. Sure. Uh, that's how we evolve, whatever. But but just the fact that DNA only makes one error in one billion times, that's amazing to me. So <clears throat> DNA repairs itself. There are numerous other self-repair mechanisms in the body. Uh, it's just that there's only so much room on this slide, and we only have so many hours in a day. The so, point is you give your body the right building blocks, <laughs> and it'll heal because it wants to be healthy. Yes. See, it already has the mechanisms to do it. You just got to give it glucose and with the glucose comes the proteins, the fats, and the carbohydrates. Ashley, thanks for coming. Oh. <laughs> and uh, uh, Ashley, go back and watch this. You'll find this cool. And uh, But anyway, your body repairs itself because it is made to. And so all you got to do is give it the right food. And medical medium says the right food is fresh fruits and veggies. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He ain't wrong. Yep. Because... When I was on the GAPS diet, and see, I have a culinary background, too. I, I've cooked ever since 1987 in, like, a real kitchen type thing. And uh, apparently they're fake kitchens. But, uh, McDonald's. Uh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> but, uh, but in real – I forgot where I was. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but with all the culinary background – I never thought I'd be a vegan or a fruititarian or, right. you know, and, but now that I've gotten off the gaps and we jumped into medical medium, I've seen so much healing. Oh my goodness. On fruit and veggies alone. Yeah. Well, and never also, mind her. not just that though, making sure um, you don't eat the no foods and. Right. Well, you do have to, you definitely have to keep the no foods out. Now, am I perfect? No, no. I'm not in a medical medium saint. I still have little bits of meat here and there. Not much, but a little bit. And if I have fat, generally it's a it's a plant fat, because I find those do those do me better than animal fats. If I have to have a fat, you don't like French fries, <laughs> but we get those from we got a local restaurant here that makes really, really good, good fries. Ones, yeah. So anyway, but all of that aside, if I'm going to do fat, I'm going to do my best to make sure it's a plant fat. 
but sometimes I do have a little bit of animal fat. But that's the only no foods I really have anymore. And so it's been astounding the the amount of healing we've experienced in a year and eight months. Yes. And uh, so, uh, really, medical medium diet is for it is for you, and it is for everybody. I think because. I can tell you from my own experience, having been autistic, it felt like having low, severe low blood sugar all the time. And Michelle knows what that's like. So when she experienced it, she's like, wow, that's it? Yeah. But that's like being, but that'd be like having low blood hypoglycemia all the time. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Medical Medium is right. If you've read that chapter in the book, Medical Medium, he talks about autistic brains need much more glucose than normal brains. For them to work properly to get past to get for the glucose to get past the heavy metals in the brain and for the nerves to talk to each other. Well, he also talks about the stores of the liver being gone the glucose stores completely gone yes in autistic yeah and i and i and while i i can't look in and see my liver and and know how low my tank is yeah uh i would say that's i'd say that's true definitely so uh just because of how much better you feel now than a year and eight months ago or even eight months ago even eight even a <laughs> month ago <laughs> i know right uh there's been a lot and the heavy metal detox we we've been doing that the past two weeks seeing huge gains on that even in the last two weeks yeah you know i no longer have the strep behaviors associated with pandas while i didn't get diagnosed with it when i found out what pandas was i was like oh i guarantee i had that and so <clears throat> getting rid of the heavy metals uh, yeah, it brings that up, up though. You said strap behaviors of pandas, and that's a virus. Right. Well, we've been talking about yes. that. Pa the, me the normal medical community thinks that pandas is a strep. Medical medium thinks it's a virus, and I believe them because I found a paper from 24 years ago that very much talks about uh, the HHV, human herp herpes HHV virus 6, six mm -hmm. uh, feeding off of heavy, heavy metals in your body. And I'll post that because I keep forgetting. He to. keeps forgetting to because we're doing a million things. Well, right we are now. doing a million and things. Plus, he's going to work. Yes. So anyway, your body wants to re oh, wants to heal. You it just wants made to repair. me remember. Before we started medical medium, I thought my body hated me, and and I hated it. And then when I started medical medium, and it, I felt better in one day, I started going. Wait, maybe maybe this isn't what I thought was going on. And then after a month, I was like, oh, my goodness, my body loves me. It really loves me, and it wants to be well. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It's pretty it, exciting to have this diet. It's true. So uh, what we want to do is we're going to stop talking. I'm going to stop lecturing. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> then uh, what we'll do, I don't see any questions. Melissa, I'll post that paper. But to be honest, it was from 1995, and it wasn't digitized and put on PubMed Central um, or on PubMed. So it's just the abstract, but I'll definitely put it up. And uh, But anyway, uh, oh, let's end with this. Remember, start on that heavy metal detox smoothie and start on that celery juice. If you are really sick, mm -hmm. start really slow, like do a quarter of the ingredients. Do a quarter of a stalk of celery. Yeah, or one stalk of celery. Or a quarter of a stalk of oh, okay, celery. It okay. depends on how sick you are, how sick your kid is. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. Right. And uh, we will be back here tomorrow night. Yes. And we will be talking. Uh, I think that's the slide. How heavy metals affecting the brain. And uh, how we oh, detox. Oh, I want to say medical medium said yeast is actually there to save you mm -hmm. it comes out when strep is overgrowing so what you need to treat is strep mm -hmm. and the yeast will go away he says the yeast is your best friend but it doesn't look like it that's how much strep you have okay all right guys heavy metal detox smoothie celery juice We'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow night at the same time. 10.45. All right. Bye. Bye.